GM Kingy is here as a site supervisor mm. for our mailbag. Favourite emails from you for the week. Lovejoy at triple m.com.au. You can reach out for whatever you like. You've got mail. So, first one's from Marie from Stratford. Hello. Elliot, how goes the retirement from cricket? Has your golf gotten any better? Ooh. Oh, two-parter. Okay. Mm. Retirement from cricket, good. Uh, I You're am, a coach now, aren't you? Oh, it's more an overseer to make sure no one dies at cricket training. I'm <laughs> cool. helping. Cool. Um, at Barron River Cricket Club. Mm-hmm. Still need juniors. Saxton be a good cricketer. Oh. Saxton be a good cricketer. Don't know if he's got the patience for it. No. <laughs> Junior games are a lot shorter than they used to be. Anyway, uh, it's weird. It's weird when you transition yes. because you just want to pick up a cricket bat. From elite athlete to sideline. A- absolutely. <laughs> when you go from averaging three <laughs> runs a game um, to the sideline stuff, it's very odd. But it's been fun. Golf game, though. Mm. Still suck. Still stink. Uh, but appreciate your concern. Well, can you get better by Friday? <laughs> Mayor's Charity Golf Day What's Friday. What's happening Friday? Oh, another thing I missed you out on being drafted golf, for. You flog. Anyway, <laughs> next. You've got mail. This is an interesting one from Ian from Machen's. Hey guys, my daughter has just turned 17 and has her first serious boyfriend. Mm -hmm. What's the best piece of dating advice you could give here? Oh, why do people ask Lovejoy for dating advice? Why don't you go first? Why don't you go first? Because, oh no, this makes me nervous because I'm going to be a parent to a 17-year-old. I need all the advice I can get. Uh, it's going I, to happen quick. I would say always date a man with a beard because it means they have the patience to grow facial hair, but they have the patience to deal with your BS. <laughs> oh, and as they say... But if your dad doesn't have a beard, you've got two mums. I heard one of the great sledges actually the other day, Kansas City Lions um, Saints AFL Grand Final. It was really tight and someone was sledging one of the Saints players and this woman yells out, your dad's your mum. Took me a long time to process it, but it was pretty good. Um, but what did I say? Date someone with a beard. Oh, like you have there just you go. gone way left field on the advice for the 17-year-old with her first boyfriend. Yeah, he hasn't helped at all. So. No. Date someone that can grow facial hair because if they got the patience to grow that, and it is very much you've got to wait a long time for things to sprout, like growing flowers, then, yeah, he's got the patience for you. The only thing to make sure of is that the guy treats your daughter exactly. well. Exactly. And that the well, daughter knows... Too that she should be treated well and right. doesn't put up for anything oh, that's less. boring advice. <laughs> You've got mail. <laughs> Dear team, I could barely believe my eyes. It's Sunday afternoon and it's a hot one doing some renos on our joint in Smithfield. I pop down to Bunnings to get some more timber and spot the world's least masculine man shopping there. Bread Elliot eyes. Lovejoy <laughs> at a hardware store. Please, oh, please enlighten us on what was purchased. Did you go there after the Escape Academy? Yeah. On the way home, went to the pet shop, then went to Bunnings. So yeah. Dean Rodman yeah. called you the least masculine man. <laughs> with a beard. Who's going to argue with that? <laughs> you know? True. Okay. Oh, what did I yes. buy at Bunnings? I love the quiz show music. <laughs> Aldi. Uh, you know, Aldi. Oh. Aldi was sitting there. Yeah. I've got him on, he's on my brain. He's in my head. He's in your he head. head. He is in, in your head. head. Um, I think you were buying some outdoor furniture. Ooh. Now we've got some of that. Good guesser. Bath caddy. I already have a bath caddy. Why would I buy another one? It's not a rotational system. Once you have, do you know what a bath caddy is? No. Once you go in the bath, it's a big wooden plank that sits across you. You can see your iPad there. There's room for oh, a yeah. wine glass. They're outstanding. Roots? Well, I already know, but through no. on Facebook, Ronnie said gift cards for Christmas presents, Ooh. surely. They'd normally and be very good. Lincoln has said um, sausage sandwich with onions and sauce. <laughs> mm. nice. I wouldn't get onions. I was going to say, you don't do the onions because you're a weirdo. No, I needed a new sprinkler head. Oh. That was it. Very hard to shop for a sprinkler head, by the way. I don't know how <laughs> you meant to pick. you got the metal ones, you got the plastic ones. you got, you got the one the... that walks along, <laughs> yeah. And then you got just the, the, hey, square one and a circular, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, where do I pick? I had to ask someone for <laughs> help. Kenny pays a gardener. He has no idea what I you're pay, talking about. I pay a gardener too, but they don't do your sprinkling. <laughs> you sprinkle yourself. Oh, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> what sprinkler head? If you had to go and buy a sprinkler head right I've now. I've got a sprinkler. Yeah. What head did you buy? I just bought the one that goes side to side. Exactly, oh, you don't know. The side oh, you bought the expensive one. $45 one. I bought the $6 rectangle Re- metal one. Yeah. Which means you'll be there another three weeks buying another $6 exactly. one. Probably. That's a fun game. <laughs> Let's play next week another edition of What Did We Buy at Bunnings? Send us an email in the meantime. Lovejoy at triplem.com.au.